Hello everyone. Welcome to HTML and CSS Fundamentals module. In this module, we'll learn about HTML CSS, how to structure a web page, how to put various elements in it, and how to position content. But before we do that, let's learn some basic concepts of web development. Like say, what is web development and how websites work. To understand that, let's open a web page. Right? Like let's say altcampus.io. What happens when we hit enter? is that a request goes from our browser to altcampus.io server. So say if I do it again, you will notice that in your network tab of your uh, Chrome developer tool, you will see that altcampus.io has been requested and it has a bunch of request headers. One of them here is a request URL, which is also altcampus.io, which is the URL of the website then get method, status code, there are a bunch of other metadata details, right? If you notice that remote address here is 128.199.85.71 colon 443. So this is the IP address of the server that altcampus.io has been hosted on, right? And then it renders JavaScript, HTML, and a bunch of other files, right? So our request here is basically going to altcampus.io's website and then a response is being sent from altcampus.io's website, which is in form of this HTML that you see here, right? And then this HTML, C HTML has some CSS files and JavaScript files linked that are providing the style of this page. So basically a request goes from our browser to the server of altcampus.io. Similarly, when we request any website, say Google or Facebook or any of the websites, we are sending a request to that particular website's server. Let's understand this with an illustration here. Here we have our browser and somewhere on a remote server is altcampus's say server, right? Now, what happens is that browser here basically sends a request to the server saying that I want to render altcampus.io's website. Server takes that response, processes it over here, okay, and sends a response back. So browser has sent a request and then the server has proce processed that request and sent a response back. This is what is called a HTTP request response cycle, right? Now, here we see that we have our browser, right? But we often see in our real world that it can be anything other than browser. It can be your mobile app, it can be your TV app, it can be your desktop app, or any of these things. So anything that is making these requests is called a client right and anything that sends the request is called a server right so this here is the fundamental basic of how web works right and then in this response that server is sending us here this can be anything it can be basically a page which in web is called html so server returns a html page so that browser can understand it so browser understands html Server sends the HTML, so browser renders the HTML. HTML here is simply the markup of the page, right? Like how the page is built. Say for example, over here, if we see the view source of altcampus.io, we'll see that it has a bunch of text with marked content, like say LIA and stuff, right? What we see here is called HTML. Now if you see, it is making calls to .css files as well. So HTML links CSS files and that provides the style of the content, right? So HTML on its own only provides the, the structure of the web page, whereas CSS provides the style of the web page. So HTML is not really a programming language. It's simply a markup language. And CSS similarly is a markup language again, which is used to style a web sheet. Now, what's JavaScript? JavaScript is used to add interaction on our website. Say for example, if I click on our get our curriculum button, we see that a modal pops up, right? 
wherein I can enter my email and get the email delivered. This interactivity comes from JavaScript, right? Anything that you see here in the browser side is also called front end. Front end is again primarily made up of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Whereas anything that you see now, anything that we see on the browser side here is also called front end. And anything that we see on server is also called back end. Front end is primarily composed of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Whereas back end is made up of various languages. They can be Ruby, Python, Java, or even JavaScript, right? So we have client, we have server, client sends a request to the server, server processes it again, sends a response back. Usually in web pages, it renders a HTML, which again browser passes it, browser understands the HTML and then renders the web page. HTML has links to CSS files that basically design our web page. And then HTML also links JavaScript files so that we can add interactivity to the web page. This here, this entire request response cycle is called HTTP request response cycle. This is the fundamentals of web architecture. That's, there's a lot more to it that we'll learn in the later videos. But for now, this is enough to get us started.